Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry feels tremendously isolated with Meghan Markle during Chronovers. Royal expert says she's worried about him. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, are currently following social distancing guidelines in California, and one royal expert is worried about how the isolation may be negatively impacting Harry. After exiting the royal family, Prince Harry left everything he'd ever known to be able to live out of the spotlight. But how is he adjusting to normal life given the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic? Prince Harry and Meghan exited the royal family. In January, Prince Harry and Meghan announced their decision to take a step back from their royal duties. Queen Elizabeth signed off on the move and worked out the final details before they officially left on March 31. There were compromises to be made as the Sussexes gave up the use of their HRH titles and the Sussex royal brand and no longer received public funding. The couple initially set up their home in Canada but eventually made the move to Los Angeles. Their exit came amid the coronavirus pandemic, requiring them to quarantine during a health crisis. Did the timing of their exit leave Prince Harry with regrets? Many people are feeling the isolation of quarantining in their homes, only leaving for essentials and observing social distancing orders in an effort to flatten the curve. One royal expert is concerned how the combination of Prince Harry leaving his royal life behind, and then being in quarantine is impacting his mental health. Royal commentator Angela Mullard shared during the Royals podcast with host Zoe Burrell. I really worry about Harry. He is someone who is very connected to his family. It's all he has ever known. She continued, he had his life with his mom Princess Diana and dad Prince Charles and then he had his life with his mom and his dad separately when they divorced. Then he lost his mom, and so he was with his dad, and with Prince William, and the structure of the royal family, and the work he has done within that, particularly the military work, have been a very stabilizing influence in his life, Mullet noted. He has no connection with that now. Is Prince Harry feeling isolated? When the march 31 exit date was determined, Kronovaris was not a concern at the time. Now that it is a reality, however, Mollard worries that Prince Harry leaving his family will make him regret their move. Of all the times to move apart from the royal family, I can imagine that right now he feels tremendously isolated, Mollard shared. Everybody, of course, is isolated, but he is not just isolated from his family, he is isolated on the other side of the world. He is just with Meghan and their son. They will be having no contact with friends, and he can't engage with anything purposeful at the moment, the expert further noted. She continued, Prince Harry has many talents, and he has a particular ability at bringing people together, and really understanding issues, and feeling very passionate about those. He has no real sense of purpose among that at the moment. Mahler did wonder if the Sussexes were doing some work behind the scenes on their new charity project, Arkawell. But you have to imagine that he is really wondering what he has done and what that might mean for the future. In other news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's 11-month old son Archie is reportedly desperate to talk and may even be walking already. This is details on the super cute and a really happy little boy. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle completed their royal duties on March 31, 2020, and have now embarked on a more independent life with their 11-month-old son, Archie. Currently, Harry and Meghan have shifted their quarantine base from Canada to a rented ocean, facing villa in Malibu, California whilst maintaining a low profile in their gated compound. Here comes a Canada story. In spite of Meghan's mother, Doria Raglan, residing in Los Angeles, she's not been able to meet her grandson and is only able to connect with the trio through social media, which is heartbreaking for the mother, 
daughter duo. According to Entertainment Tonight, royal expert Katie Nichol revealed that she spoke to someone who had sent a video of Archie a few weeks back and that the toddler is super cute and a really happy little boy. Katie shared with E.T. He's burbling and sort of desperate to talk, but certainly already mastered cruising and is well on his way to walking. He may even be walking already. I was told very cute, very very happy, and very confident little boy. While Harry and Meghan are keeping away from the public eye, it doesn't mean that they are just idling around. Moreover, they are hard at work, especially with their recently announced Arkawell Foundation. However, it wasn't Harry and Meghan's plan to announce Arkawell right away with the initial announcement timeline being after the coronavirus pandemic was over. The reason why they decided to announce the foundation name was that they were clued in by a British newspaper that managed to obtain documents filed by the couple in the U.S. last month, trademarking, copywriting the name Arkawell. Another analysis. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's new charity subtly hints that Archie might be an only child. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle recently launched a brand new charity, officially marking their new chapter. The two closed their royal offices on March 31st, and they let their Instagram followers know that they would no longer be active on the social media app. Harry and Meghan are calling their new charity, Arkawell, a nod to their son, Archie. But the name might hint something more about the couple. Archie could be the only child they have. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have gone to great lengths to give Archie a private life. Harry and Meghan didn't wait long to have kids after getting married. The two wed in May 2018, and by October 2018, they had announced a pregnancy. From there, Archie immediately became the most important person in their lives. When he was born, Harry and Meghan opted not to give him a royal title, foreshadowing a series of events that would lead to the couple leaving the family entirely. One of the main reasons for Harry and Meghan stepping back was so their son could grow up with the private life that Harry never had. Of course, there were other factors, such as the relentless negative press. Harry and Meghan dealt with plenty of negative feedback but they stood firm in idea of making sure their little family would be as happy as possible. Harry and Meghan have said they want no more than two kids. The Duke and Duchess have made it clear that they won't have a large family. When Harry met with activist and anthropologist Jane Goodall, he told her that he and Meghan wanted two kids, maximum, after Goodall jokingly told him not to have too many. However, that doesn't mean that Harry and Meghan will definitely have two kids. Simply that, if they get pregnant once more, it will be the last time. Naming their charity after Archie could signal that he'll be their only child. Harry and Meghan's newest charity initiative, Arkawell, is clearly named after their son. But doing so might also signal that Harry and Meghan are going to focus on their philanthropic work and raise Archie as an only child. Naming a charity after the firstborn child seems slightly odd if there will only be one other child to come after. Almost a bit unfair. With everything that's happened in Harry and Meghan's lives since they wed, it also wouldn't surprise us if they put off having any more kids. The foundation name doesn't necessarily mean they won't have more. Though it seems feasible based on the name Arkawell, that Harry and Meghan are done expanding their family, it's not a guarantee. Other celebrities have named charities after their firstborn, such as Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, who named their Maddox Jolie Pitt Foundation after their oldest child, then went on to have five more kids. But with Harry and Meghan having said they don't want more than two, Naming a charity after one child and not the other seems like it would be a snub. So there you have it. That's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening.
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.